next time. Where's the dot, boy? Huh? <laughs> Creatives, how are you? Welcome back to the Nerd Creative Channel. Fan Home, Building the Back to the Future, DeLorean, Part 15. In this video, we'll be completing issue 41 of the build. Grab yourself a coffee, sit back, relax, and enjoy. So here we are, issue 41. Each issue comes with components and a magazine. Let's just have a look at the magazine. Really good graphic at the front of the DeLorean there. This is the model. And, the, and there shows you the parts that come with this issue, including the center console. So we're actually focusing on the inside of the car now. We've done most of the outside work um, underneath and internally. We've got our step-by-step -step instructions. It shows you the section of the car that we're working inside there. And that's what it will look like when we finish the center console. Biff Horrific. Biff Tannen controls Hill Valley in the alternate timeline created for Back to the Future Part 2. There's Biff's Casino, Tower of Evil. The Biff Tannen Museum. <laughs> and then this shows us what we will be getting in issue 42 of the build. And there on the back, it shows you the components that we've got. So the first thing we've got to do is our admin work. Just grab my scissors. Our center console there. So we've got our screws, three bags of screws we've got. We have we have an AP, sorry, two bags of screws. That's not that's not a bag of screws. So we've got our AP screws and BP screws and our components. We just want to make sure that we've got everything. I just like to do this before we start. So we've got our center con console here. Let's turn these around. We have our console here, console 2, which is here, uh, gear stick case, which is this one. We've got our gear stick, which is here, and our gear stick handle, which is there inside that bag. And then we've got our gear stick shroud and we have our AP screws and our BP screws so we've got everything we need for issue 41 of the build let's get going so the first thing we've got to do is this is our center console piece here and this is our, our console part one there with all the dials and the uh, speedometer and things like that there so we've got to just slot that in there like that uh, sits in there like that and then what we've got to do is we've got to turn it over and we've just got to screw two AP screws in there so these are our AP screws so we'll get them out 
couple of earpiece screws. And we'll screw them in. I thought this was magnetic. No, it doesn't appear to be. So, let's see if we can get them in there. It's quite fiddly. Yeah, they, they are magnetic. Let me get the other screwdriver, see if that works. Yep, that's it. So we just need to screw them in. It is a little fiddly, but move all these aside. the first screw in, get the second one in. There. That's all held in place. Now, so the next thing we need to do is get this console two section here, and it's got a little a little bit of an extra there, and that needs to slide underneath the first the first console section like that. There, it needs to sit underneath it so that it do, so it's not so it's not seen. It it comes to the back there, as you can see there, and then we just need to click this into place like that there and it will line up with the holes underneath so we need a couple of BP screws to secure that in place so we just need to turn it over now and um, we put a screw in there and a screw in there Oops, that came out. That wasn't supposed to do that. Let's pull that screw out. Let's click that back into place. I'm going to hold this now as I screw it in. Like I said, it's quite fiddly, but it is kind of doable. So I'm going to line it up from here. And then I'm going to hold it. Stop it from pushing back out. in second screw in should I say not piece and get that in let's line it up
check this screws in all the way and that's what that looks like there with the two pieces in as you can see the next thing we have to do is we've got to put the gear stick shroud in which is here and we turn it upside down and there are two pins in here there's one here and one in, one in, one in two corners one there and one diagonal so I'm just going to fit this in There's no actually gluing of it, it just sits there, as you can see. So there's a pin there, here, and there's a pin in that corner there, so they're held in place. And that's how I, and it's actually, um, it's quite rubbery, as you can see, it's quite rubbery. So it would, it would move like a gear, st a gear stick should when it's sat inside. So the next thing is the gear stick itself. So the gear stick comes with the stick and then it comes with the ball at the top, which is a set of gear stick handle. So let's just remove these. So how we do this is, this goes underneath and this pushes through. So we just turn it upside down and we just feed it through like that, there. And to stop the gear stick from falling through to this side, we have this gear stick case which sits on here. need to position so it sits over the gear there. so I've got it over the gear itself Hang on. all right I'm gonna sit it over the gear itself the gear stick there making sure that sits in place and then we we secure that with two BP screws Said it's kind of like herding cats. <laughs> Trying to hold this in place, but it's quite fiddly, as I said. held in place. We just sit a screw in there in the hole. I'll do the back one first. the front one's not fully it's not fully cut out let me just get my scalpel and see if I can can you see there it's kind of it's not full it's not a full hole which is very odd if you can just make it there we go there we go that's a full hole there so I'll put our second screw in the front So 
So that's the two screws in there in the joystick case. So the joystick there and the joystick can move around inside there. And the last thing we need to do is put the handle on. Find the hole where it goes. Right there it is. I'm just gonna hold the bottom. Just position this in place. There. Uh, oh, there's the and it works like a real gearbox ready to go in the car so that completes issue 41 of the build As always, we've got merch for the channel. We have our nerd creative range and our stay creative range. The link's in the description. Get what you want. I'd like to thank you for your company. I'll see you in the next video. Stay creative.